Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone. These letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. Just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website, edvforme.org, and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. Before we get started, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll send you out a free Bible, free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And folks, if you love watching videos about dreams dealing with the rapture resurrection event, dealing with end time Bible prophecy, what is coming down the road for the world going forth into the seven tribulation and forward, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Today folks, we're going to be focusing on more rapture dreams and I know we've been covering raptures for a while, but let's face it, I love talking about the things that involves us personally, what's coming for us, as good for us rather than sit there and trying to focus on what the enemy is doing. We already know the enemy is getting ready for the tribulation period. We already know that the devil and the fallen angels, Nephilim, are getting ready for the tribulation period. Something to think about. You know, when they pulled the whole trigger with the whole COVID thing back in 2020, do you think that the devil knew, hey, it'd be a good time to do this right now because the hand of restraint is about to be removed, okay? If the devil knew that the hand of restraint, the rapture resurrection, was going to take place another seven years from now, he wouldn't have done what he did back in 2020. Everything with COVID to usher in global tyranny. If he knew that the hand of restraint wasn't going to be removed for another seven or eight more years, all the work that he's doing right now would have got undone. Like, for example, if the midterm elections take place and nothing hinders them, it'll be a red wave then a lot of good things will begin to happen here in America and everything will start going back to where it was back when Trump was in office, which will eventually permeate through the rest of the world. Okay, that would happen. I can see that happening. Okay, so I believe the devil knows that hand of restraint is about to be removed because if it's seven years from now and we have a red wave in November, that's going to cause a major setback to what he's trying to do right now. It's gonna slow everything down, all right? 
So why pull the trigger with COVID if the rapture resurrection is not going to be for another seven more years? Okay. People will be praying. People are going to be seeking the Lord. And the Lord will be moving on behalf of his people here on the earth during that time. Okay, which will hinder his plans for world domination with the beast system during the seven-year tribulation. So this is why I have such a strong belief that the tribulation is going to begin this fall. He knows it's about to be removed. He knows that the rapture resurrection is about to happen. This is why we have seen a 6,000% increase in UFO activity since COVID started. Hello? 6,000%. We're not talking about... 50% or even a hundred percent or even a thousand percent. We're talking 6,000%, the number six. What a surprise. So anyhow, let's get into some of these rapture dreams here. This first one here is from Sabina. Sabina goes on to say here, this week I had a dream. I was looking up at the sky and that's all I could see. It was blue with white clouds, perfect sky. With my hands, I was trying to reach it a few times, and I'm looking at it wondering, where is it going to open up from there? And I heard the scripture, look up, for your redemption draws near. And it ended. Also, roughly two years ago, I saw Jesus face to face. It was so clear. I have never seen blue eyes like water, as if the sun was glistening over them. Amazing. So here in this dream, She's looking up towards the sky, reaching towards the sky, and then she heard the words, look up, for your redemption draws near. Your redemption draws nigh. What is this representation? The time that we are in right now. How many of you are looking up towards the sky right now? I know I am. We do it every day. Doesn't mean the rapture resurrection is gonna take place. You know, I look at the sky I'm like, all right, I don't think it's going to happen right now, but eventually this guy will present the rapture resurrection event. You know, I had an experience the other day when I was walking through my home and my wife was sitting in the living room watching TV and I walked into the kitchen and then I started seeing these flashes of light. Now, I thought they were lightning, okay, because a storm was coming, but here's the thing. I saw a flash that generated from the center of the living room. It generated from the center of the living room. It wasn't one of those things where the, the lightning flash came in through the window. It just flashed from the middle of the living room. And I said to myself, hold on a second. I've seen lightning flash through our window before. That was different. And I really started to think to myself, is a rapture resurrection about to take place? because I'm starting to see flashes of light generated from within the home. Now, I don't know how that happened. Maybe it reflected off something, I don't know. And of course, nothing happened, but that really got my attention. That's where I'm at right now. I don't know about you guys, but that's where I'm at right now. Anything out of the ordinary right now that could lead to a rapture resurrection event. I'm looking for that now. I didn't look for it before, but I'm looking for it now. Anything out of the ordinary like that happening. Okay, and this is funny, my antennas just went up. I was like, listening, and I listened for a trumpet, you know. Have you done that? Please comment. So she goes on to say here that after this dream, she had a dream two years ago where she saw Jesus face to face. How incredible is that? How lucky you are to see Jesus face to face, okay? I've never seen him face to face. I've seen him around but not face to face and i'm and you know what for me the lord is probably like look you're going to love it a lot more when you see me face to face in heaven knowing that this is not a dream you're with me forever and we're now going into eternity no more dealing with all the crap here on the earth no death immortal body I mean the whole package okay I like that idea so some of you have seen the face of Jesus Christ please comment if you have what did you see all right I'd love to read it now folks before we go any further I would like to share with you what we're doing with our Christian missions all around the world to feed my sheep today 
So please take a moment to check out this video and I'll be right back after this quick break. Hey friends, do you have great zeal for the Lord? Are you excited about the upcoming rapture resurrection event? Are you interested in increasing the number of those who will be saved and will be caught up out of here when this event takes place? And on top of all that, being rewarded for this work at the Bema Seat Judgment. If that's you, listen up. We have been doing Christian missions now for almost 10 years, and we have built a very extensive worldwide network of missionaries, teachers, and evangelists, pastors, and people assisting them who are preaching the gospel of grace to new believers and are moving all the humanitarian relief aid and free Bibles and everything as they continue to preach this gospel of grace throughout third world countries. As you can tell, everything is in place. You don't have to do a single thing except provide the seed. And just let me explain what we do. We go into these areas of people who have never heard the gospel before, and I'm talking about areas that are hard to reach, remote areas, and villages, and jungles, areas outside of the cities that society has forgotten about and forsaken. We reach these areas and we provide food, blankets, clothing, hygiene products, humanitarian relief aid of all sorts depending on what's needed and once we get everybody up to speed with what they need i'll tell you what that changes the tune of a lot of people in these places when you provide aid to them they are very willing to listen to your message that will follow it and from this we have been seeing countless numbers of people coming to the saving grace of jesus christ and for these people, we give them their own free Bible in their own native language that our missionaries purchase locally in their countries or a King James for all the English readers. And from this point, we continue to teach them, lead them, and guide them moving forward. Are you ready to make a difference in God's kingdom today? React right now to that pull in your spirit. Stop what you're doing because Satan is going to distract you now. Trust me. Go to our website feedmysheeptoday.org the link is below there you can give by paypal credit card bank draft or just send your gift in the mail do you want to make a big impact right now but can't afford to do so i got a simple answer for you just become a monthly sustainer we greatly need more monthly sustainers and the great benefit about this position is you can set it and forget it now this whole thing is working on your behalf and you can focus on other things in the kingdom. Your seed will automatically be invested into God's kingdom on a monthly basis. How many new believers can you say that you were responsible for for leading to the Lord last year and giving a free Bible to? How would you like to be responsible for 36 new salvations this year and also give them a free Bible? Well, you can do that with simply ten dollars a month so that's there for you please consider joining our easy feed monthly sustainer family we would be so happy to welcome you in so friends all the links are in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel feed my sheep today it's also our backup channel by the way there you'll be able to keep track of your investment in this great work thank you all so much for your much needed support May God bless you all. Thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support to feed my sheep today. Folks, I can't believe we made it this far, but it's coming. The Rapture Resurrection event is coming and we will be leaving here very shortly. So folks, if you haven't done anything for the Lord, if you feel like, you know what, I would like to get some things done really quick. So that way I can be rewarded for that at the beam of seat judgment because you're going to be judged at the judgment seat of Christ for everything that you did that were work based for his kingdom, not for your sins, but the works that you did for his kingdom, whether they were wood, hay and stubble or were they gold, silver, precious stones. Okay, that's what that judgment's for. You're not judged for your sins. Your sins were dealt with at the cross 2,000 years ago when God turned away from his son, Jesus, and Jesus said, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? God had turned away from Jesus at that point. Why? Because he saw your sins on there. He saw my sins on there. That's when God dealt with our sins. Now, at the judgment seat of Christ, the Bemacy judgment, that 
deals with your works, okay? What you did for the body of Christ, for God's kingdom during the age of grace. So everything that you do, in any way, shape, or form, you will be rewarded for it. Now, you can do things yourself personally, be a missionary, go out and do that work, or you can support the missionaries, okay? For example, and here at Feed My Sheep Today, the funds that come in goes directly to the missionaries, and they strictly use these funds for sharing the gospel. Buying Bibles, buying food, humanitarian relief aid, and then taking it to the people and leading people to Christ. That is what we do, period. And by doing that, it generates incredible rewards of gold, silver, and precious stones. Why? Because you're dealing with people. You are putting it towards the development of the body of Christ, okay? And that is rewards of gold, silver, and precious stones. Plain and simple, okay? And that's all we do here. If our Heavenly Father is tugging at your heart in any way, shape, or form, don't ignore it. Just see what He wants you to do, and then go forward from there. So thank you all for your much, much needed support, and may God bless you all. Now, this next one I'd like to share with you is from Paul. Paul goes on to say here, I was standing in a street close to where I live, and I saw at the end of the road a figure standing there, looking towards heaven, open and brilliant white light of glory and mist enveloped him. I was trying to see who it was, but I could only see the shadow of a beard and long white robe in glory. He was brilliant and the light was dazzling. I turned to look elsewhere to get my bearings, and when I looked again, the heavenly figure and glory had moved and it was right next to me, almost upon me. It was very peaceful and loving. End of the dream. I woke up and said to myself, that was the Holy Spirit. I felt that it was an encouragement from the Lord to look up, as our rapture departure is imminent and at the very door, not even down the road, and that we are encouraged by God to look up. The Spirit and the Bride say, come. So here in his dream, I believe it's very simple. He sees Jesus Christ from a distance, and then... Jesus Christ goes from being a distance to right next to him. That just simply means that the rapture resurrection we saw from a distance, we saw back in 2014 with all the heavenly signs, everything taking place, dreams and visions, everything going forward with the world. But now we don't see it from a far distance. It's right next to us. All right, so the time is upon us, folks. We are about to go home. The world is going into an absolute tribulation quagmire right now. Everything is being set up globally for the tribulation event. All the pins are being set up for the four horsemen bowling ball to come rolling right down the lane. Okay, we have never seen this before. Not globally, and especially with the United States being completely dissolved right now, where God can no longer use the United States to keep everything at bay, to promote freedom around the world, to promote the gospel around the world. When the light of America goes out, that's it. It goes dark all around the world because there is no other country promoting freedom anymore, is there? No. So please comment, let us know what you guys think, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to, or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message forum on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here 
will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device.